this leg forward, this hand is behind this hand. You can see it if it's what they claim. Why? Part of his elbow, part of his arm, his forearm is covering the stock. Yeah. Okay? Do we all agree, just like the defense and just like forensic experts, if that is in fact an image and not just an artifact, that that would be how Kyle has to be holding that gun? Yeah. The argument that is being made now, and they're spending a lot of time on this with the verdict, and, and uh, Mission Control will let me know if there are any updates so yeah. you guys can send in anything. You can tweet me. Um, they're spending too much time on this, uh, unfortunately, but this is also because the defense has sent sent over new video and new images that was not submitted for evidence, the right? Sorry, the prosecution yeah, yeah. that the defense had not prepared for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let me kind of explain to you, at the crux of their latest argument, which flies in the face of their previous argument, just to be clear, is this uh, non-digitally enhanced, crystal clear quality image of Kyle Rittenhouse, here we go, bring it up, allegedly aiming a gun at somebody. Let's go through what would be taking place in the picture Right, based on these descriptions and what you're looking at, yeah. and see if it even is plausible. Namely, that Kyle Rittenhouse is aiming his rifle at somebody, how he's aiming it, and how much time he would have had until the very next high-def video that we have showing his rifle in an entirely different position. Let me show you, let's roll this clip. The defendant comes running in and drops the fire extinguisher on the ground That's like important. this. He places it on the ground. And then raises his left hand to the gun and points. This is what we see in the video. Him putting the fire extinguisher on the ground and then raising the gun. Your Honor, I'm going to object. He's facing the wrong direction. That's an argument. Okay. Doesn't even rebut it. I, I'd like to actually that's an have argument. Well, like, uh, eh, that's an argument. It's like yeah. a good one. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> hold on a second. Just hold your thoughts. I'm going to go aim this loaded gun at the jury really quickly. <laughs> yeah, finger on the trigger. Yeah. Crying out loud. Just in case. A little I wonder if off Matthew Modine could tell me why that guy was wearing gloves. I have no idea. Yeah. Probably could. <laughs> He's a big brain. So here's the thing. There's no way I would argue, and I wish the defense had argued this, but they didn't have time to prepare for it, uh, that Kyle aimed his gun the way they are, it would have to uh, take place in that picture and then move on I'll show, his gun was down aimed down or aimed you know neutrally uh with a right-handed grip the yeah. entire every other video that we Everything, have yeah. just to be clear every video that we have but specifically right after that image you're talking about seconds after that image after he just dropped the fire extinguisher they're saying he aimed the gun seconds after that this is how the gun is being held here we go look at that right there right-handed grip and the gun is aimed down and while he's running yeah Right-handed grip, left hand on the barrel. He may have had a second there. I just want everybody to understand that. He Run could have had a second. Running up on Zeminski, but that's not enough time to do this. Running up on Zeminski, seeing Zeminski a person that had a allegedly gun. with a gun in his hand at I'm that I'm going moment. to go through it. Yeah, exactly. Now, Kyle is right-handed. He wears a really tight sling, just to be clear. Let's bring up these overlays. It's a collage D3. So you can see that the sling is tight. Now, why does that matter? Okay, um, I'm trying to think. Does anyone have like a piece of string or something actually, or rope? I was asking for one earlier. Mm. Uh, uh, mine's in my shower. <laughs> just ready to go. <laughs> just so we even have video to reflect that, where you can see that the sling is very tight, very taut, right? Yeah. There's tension. Uh, roll clip C1. Anthony Huber hits Rittenhouse with a skateboard. Now, look at how disarmament. the gun as he rotates. Rittenhouse there. Look, you can see the image. sling. You can see the sling there, how it's tight, right? He can't even, the guy's trying to pull his gun away. He can't do it. That's how far the gun is taken from his body, which is almost none. Yeah. In other words, he has a, anyone out there who knows firearms knows that you'll often have a sling adjusted. Either you're carrying a sling for long distances, doesn't really matter. Or if you're carrying it so that people cannot take it from you or to assist with recoil, you're going to adjust the sling so it's braced against your shoulder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we see that time and time again. Right-handed grip, down, and the sling is tight. Here's a string. Okay. Okay? So the string is taut throughout that image whenever it's against Kyle's shoulder, and you see this in other images, right? Yeah. Now, why does this matter? This matters because, look, if the string is taut, that means it has to be at the same pivot point. Right? That means, oh, sorry, that means yeah, here yeah. it has to be against the shoulder. If, this, if, if it's not tight, the strings, you're going to see this, right? You're going to see it. Well, this is a stiff string, but you're going to see it go down. You're yeah. going to see it get, get some slack. There's no slack yeah. in Kyle's sling at any point. When the guy tries to take the gun away from him, it's still touching his body, and this shows you how much room there is. That matters because it makes it not impossible, but very likely impossible. 
allow myself to introduce myself. Yeah, it, it makes it <laughs> un- highly implausible. Yeah. It makes it absolutely impossible that he had to clear malfunction with uh, gross crudes, and I'll explain that as well. It makes it completely impossible. Yeah. So um, just to show you what I mean by this, let's, uh, let's uh, uh, do the uh, demonstration. Okay, so just so you know, I'm going to have you guys come up, and we've taken the bolt out of the uh, AR-15, the yes. bolt carrier. Okay. Taking the charge and removed. Out. So let me just have it, everyone here, so you know that this isn't rust. There you go. See it? Nothing in there. See nothing at all. So this is a single point strap. The, yeah. the one thing here is this is actually going to be easier to do what they're claiming Kyle Rittenhouse did because this, if you see, has a bungee cord and yeah. elastic. Which is to to help you be able to do it's the to thing. To help he me can't be able to really do the do. thing that Kyle wouldn't be able to do. Yeah. And as far as we know, he did not have a bungee on his right uh, yeah. single point strap. So uh, you saw that clip. Here's the thing. He came in. And he had a fire extinguisher. Now, right. if you look at that picture, can you bring up that picture again? Bring up the picture. Uh, no, the picture of uh, the pixelated picture where they're claiming he yeah, held the real gun. Zoomed he in aimed one. the gun. Okay. Yeah, the one that should for so no reason be used as evidence. So you see this image right there. You see that one on the right. And that's why uh, the defense said you're doing it wrong. That's very clearly a left-handed grip. Yep. Okay, so now no you doubt. can come back to me, guys. So you see that? Look, I'm going to imitate exactly what you are seeing there is this. Right. right? That's what you're seeing. Bring yeah. up the picture again so people can see me getting as close to what they're claiming as possible. Now, why do you see that? Okay. This leg forward. Yep. This leg forward. This hand is behind this hand. You can see it if it's what they claim. Why? Part of his elbow, part of his arm, his forearm is covering the stock. Yeah. Okay. Do we all agree, just like the defense and just like forensic experts, if that is in fact an image and not just an artifact? that that would be how Kyle has to be holding that gun. Yeah. Okay. So we all agree. Yeah. No doubt. Now, we all agree that every single other time Kyle is carrying his gun, we see him with a right hand holding it down or when he's running, holding it neutrally, right? Right. Mm. This is how he always holds his gun. This is how he shot. Ev- it's not in question. The whole day. Every yeah. single yeah. person he yeah. shot, he shot this way. Right. Okay. So what they are claiming is, you just saw him use that Nalgene bottle. We have an actual fire extinguisher. And we have the footage of Kyle Rittenhouse running in, right? putting down the fire extinguisher that it's, they could say it's an artifact, but we know that the fire extinguisher, he was putting out fires came around this time. Yeah. Okay. So he would have put the fire extinguisher down to be clear. So what does that mean? Left hand occupied. How would he have been holding his rifle? He would have had to have been holding it with his right hand because according to Binger, according to that ass hat, yeah. he put the fire extinguisher down here with his left hand. Now he aims the gun at Zeminski, but he would have to switch. Again, keep in mind, this is really tight. Have to switch to his left grip, aim the gun, and within how long do we have the estimate? Within less than one second while running, keep yeah. in mind, while running, play that footage again with his gun down, the one where, one where you see him in a, sec, a, a second later. Right there, okay? So this is about... Anywhere from, what, half a second? Yeah. Half a second to a second later. So aim it at Zeminski, according to that. Within half a second, while running, switch this around this way to the point where he's already running with it securely like this. Yeah. And assessing a threat that's coming up from his right. So he's got two threats that he's keeping an eye on. So we're supposed to believe that within one second, Kyle Rittenhouse went from right-handed grip, left fire extinguisher, according to Binger... Fire extinguisher goes down, switch, and you guys can just see, even with a sling, it's really awkward to switch switch grips. Well, yeah. Switch. It's something you would do in a moment of panic. For yes, example. exactly. Yeah. You would say, let me go to, let me prepare myself so that I can be weaker than yes. I usually am. Yes, I, I like to use my uh, my less uh, my lesser hand. Yes, I yes, yes. The just I wanted to give them a running start <laughs> while he not shot them. <laughs> I mean, you can almost see too in the video that the color of the gun is blending with the car behind it. Like it's, he's in the same right. spot. Look, there, it already is. You can so, see it. Yeah. Really quickly, it's not even. In one sequence. Yeah, there's no way. This is what we're supposed to believe. Kyle Rittenhouse, boom, fire extinguisher, comes in, fire extinguisher down, switches from right hand to left hand, For brings no it up, and while running, less than a second to that next clip, while running, switches it to this. For, and for what purpose? Yeah. 
Like, why would he switch to his off? Why would he switch to his offhand? It makes no sense. No, not at all. Also, this is what I was talking about with uh, the charging handle. So for people who don't know AR-15s, um, we don't have it here, but the charging handle goes right there. Is uh, where should I? Uh, can you zoom in? I can zoom in with this other camera. This camera right here in front of me. So it's an additional well, piece of that. awkwardness and oh, yeah. weight. You get closer. That's not with this. involved. There you go. There you go. Okay, right there. So you guys can see this. We've removed, like we said, we removed the bolt carrier here for people who don't know, aren't familiar with an AR-15. Okay, and I'm trying not to flag anybody in here, but there is no bolt carrier, and the charging handle is right here. Now, why does this matter? And I don't know, guys, if we can bring back up, uh, we don't have this prepared, but the, uh, uh, not Rosenbaum, I forget the name. Gabe. The assholes blend together after a while. Gabe. Uh, uh, you and will be saying. So, Gage. It, Gage. Yes, he will. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Yeah, Gage. Okay. So, Gage claims also that Kyle cleared a malfunction or re-racked. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, keep going. That's right Uber. Right here. Right there. Right in between this guy. Getting okay, yeah. okay. So, yeah, go right there. Okay, so hold on. Pause. So Gage claims that Kyle re-wrapped. This one I'm positive is not possible. And by the way, do you know where this came from? Keep it up there. Do you know where this came from? Gage's Twitter. Yeah. Mm. Just so you know. Just him. No one corroborated. So yeah. right now, okay, hold that pause, but go back to me. So right now we have Kyle Rittenhouse, okay, with his, oh, here, you know what? I'll, I'll show it here. On this yeah, camera. there you go. Yeah. We have him on his butt, and you see right there, his hand is here. Yeah. Correct? Very clear. Yes. Right hand is here. Now keep in mind... This is not like an AK, or for example, I have a carbine rifle, where you can charge, okay, you can charge the gun, for example, in an AK, I believe it's around here, right? You could charge it, boom, rack it, and you wouldn't see it, right? Because it would be obfuscated by the gun. So boom, effectively. Yeah. An AR-15, you would have to pull this back. Now see how that changes the arm? Yeah. Now, to be clear, in the military, the only way, so bring up that image again. The paused uh, video. There okay. So he is sitting here aimed this way. Can you put me in a four? Yeah. He's yeah. sitting here aimed this way. Okay. This sling is tight. Okay. This sling is tight against my shoulder. You've already seen that there's no slack in Kyle Rittenhouse's sling when they try to take his gun away. The sling is tight. So in the Marines, they used to say, you know, to keep this hand on here, you would rack, uh, or you were sorry, you would clear a malfunction by tap with a magazine, rack, bang. You might use your left hand. The thing is, they don't use their, their sling. They don't have a tight sling. Yeah. Right? At that point, they could have the gun far away from them. So, my point here is, it's really difficult for him to do it with his left hand. If he were to do it with his left hand, and keep in mind how little time he had, he would have had to go over with his left hand here, clear this back, if there were some kind of a misfire. Keep in mind, there were no rounds that were found that weren't spent, yeah. that were ejected, so there's, there's no, no evidence. There's no evidence of this at all. Yeah. So, he would have right. had to clear that either like this, which would be like, a, looks kind of like a crossbow, to people who use AR-15s, or be really difficult while this is tight in my shoulder to try and do it with my left hand here. Very, very awkward. He would have to do that in what, a quarter of a second and be back and shoot a bicep? No way. Watch Louder with Crowder live, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.